This is the new Manning Science Center, and this is set up really for you guys to learn you know, all there is to know about science, perhaps. Again, we have um, some really nice displays going back millions of years showing some of the typical life forms you have here. This part right here is going to be for you guys to use to study from, to just to relax, to enjoy. Um, nice little timeline up there, again showing the eras and the epochs uh, as we go up from millions of years into the past from right now. So we have Mercury, Venus, Earth, and the, right here is the moon going around the Earth. And then as we go out straight east, the other planets are mathematically again, proportional. So it's pretty cool. We have uh, all the far planets out on that walkway that's so far outside there. One of the things about this classroom that is really cool is that your parents have graciously donated a lot of money for it and also are raising money um, to donate to this classroom, to dedicate this classroom. And this is the environmental science classroom that was given by the parents and grandparents in honor of the graduates of the class of 2013. That's you guys. This is your classroom. Once you get into the junior and the six warm years, in an AP class, for instance, or an honors class, one of the things you want to do is to learn science the way scientists do it. Instead of just having a lab that's pretty well predetermined, you know, you know what the outcome is going to be. This lab and the outside classroom and the mud room and all the stuff that's outside is going to allow us to actually investigate science the way scientists do it, the way it should be done. So to do an experiment and maybe come up with an answer to that question that you've asked that maybe is different than what you expected. And that's what science is all about, because that leads to other questions. And that's where you guys can start using your brains to start to be able to really, you know, figure out how things work. And this is something that many, many schools, some of the best schools in the country don't have and some many colleges don't have. Okay, so what we're gonna do today is we have a pretty neat investigation outside and the pond, as I mentioned, is just a new little pond. We've got some bubbles coming up off the bottom. I noticed that the other day. I want us to investigate and see what's causing it. Okay, we're gonna get in the water. We're gonna do some oxygen tests, some temperature tests. We're gonna see if we find any organisms in there. The water, uh, obviously, has just come into there. Um, and the bottom still hasn't consolidated. It still isn't a, uh, a real natural system yet. So what I want to do is to try and measure this from its beginning right now until it becomes a completely natural system. All right. So what you guys are going to do is measure a couple of things, the oxygen and the temperature right now. You're also going to measure the water. So John, you've got, uh, you've got that little uh, tube there. That's a bottom sampler. So go ahead and set that up if you remember how. Just stick that in there. Okay. We usually use this, of course, for deeper water. But this will work fine for here. And then, oh yeah, what I want you to do is drop that to the bottom. Okay. And you guys, we got these nice long dip nets. What I want to do is to have you guys come over here and dip in the water, see if we get any organisms. Yeah, this is uh, uh, definitely got a lot of organisms in it already. You can see that. So we can see what we have, and we'll do an analysis of that. We're going to be able to do labs that are long term. That's why science here at Blueberry is going to become you know, so much more than just high school stuff. I say physics, chemistry, biology, environmental science. We're going to combine that, of course, with the math, with computer science. We're going to be able to use lots of stuff. And it's going to be so, so huge. Anyway, I'm excited. I hope you guys are.